How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a review of the recent product that I acquired at Target and it was the light. This is the one is General Electric Full Color Smart, Smart LED Bulb A19. I bought it for $19.19 and you have to make an account so everything can be linked to your cell phone and to the Wi-Fi. So now to use it, it's very easy. If you see right here, we have a light bottom, and then on that light bottom, we can use the percentage and change the brightness from 100 all the way down to five. And as I go down on the brightness, the light starts going down also on the brightness. All the way on to 5, as you, as you can see. And then if I bring it up, also the light starts going up. The brightness starts going up with the light. There's also another way to use it. You can tap the, uh, the light pop icon that is right here. And it's going to turn off the light and it does it slowly. You tap it one more time and then it goes on. Also, another feature that it has is that if you press right here, you see where the color blue it is down next to the 100% to the right hand side. It's going to show you this spectrum of colors, which you can change the one that I have right now is cool day on the top all the way to the warm white all the way on the bottom. You can use that one to change the color so you can just press the circle that is to the left hand side of the light bulb on the upper left corner and it's going to show you this spectrum once you have this spectrum you can just put your finger in the middle and it's going to change the color to the selected color that you want and if you bring it all the way to the end you are going to see how the light changes all the way to the blue and if we rotate our finger to the this spectrum color the light is going to rotate this color also <clears throat> You can see also that the closer we get to the middle, the light starts to lose brightness and color. And the closer we get we get to the edges, it starts to get more brighter and brighter. So this is going to be blue close to the edge, and you see that is the full potential of blue. But if we get closer to the center of the circle, it starts getting white and that blue starts to decrease. Also, another thing that you can use if you don't want to use this circle right here, you can just select the colors. I have some colors designed that come with the app already made by default. And it's the regular so, uh, cool daylight. This one is warm white, super warm white, or a more uh, concentrated warm white. And then you have the red, blue, um, green, sorry, and blue. Now let's say for example, you have the blue right now, and then you want a softer blue. So you go to brightness and then you bring it down. Well, um, it's not a softer, it's a more opaque blue would be the right word and right now is brightness five percent and then if you want a clearer more brighter blue you bring it all the way to a hundred percent that's why i say brightness and the same with all the other colors let's change to green let's decrease the brightness and the bulb that light bulb just becomes more opaque and now it's brightness is 5% and now we can make it all the way to 100%. Very nice. And there is some other things that you can do, like you can set up autom automation with it, which is have your own scenes or room device. You can set up if you wanted to uh, turn the lights on or off on the sunrise, sunset, and also select a time of the day. And if you want uh, when it's going off or on, if you wanted to be an instant light on or off or be as a fading of 10 seconds 30 seconds even half an hour in fading of on or on 
and you can select the day so so it, it will work just like your alarm so i think that is very useful but i haven't tried that option yet we could probably set up one right now meanwhile we can go to settings and we have all these voice assistants that you can use with your uh, smart lipo which is a home kit and siri amazon alexa google assistant i haven't set up this one yet because i know that to add the siri you have to have a home kit which i do not have and then i do have the amazon alexa which is that i that i use so you have to successfully set up your new device click allow to link your c by g devices with alexa i haven't tried that one but we will be going through it and getting the setup to see how does it works and also it works with a voice assistant google assistant which i do not use google assistant so in probably like half a second we're going to see if the scheduled time is going to fade the light and so it's 508 right now it's supposed to take 10 seconds <laughs> It seems like the problem is not with Alexa. Alexa, turn off light one. I couldn't find a device that gives me light one in David's profile. It says that power is off. Alexa, turn off light one. There we go. Look at that. That was nice. Alexa, turn light one on. Sorry, light one is not responding. Alexa, change the color to blue of light one. Sorry, light one is not responding. Alexa, turn off light one. Light one isn't responding. Alexa, change the color to blue of light one. Okay. Alexa, change the color to red of light one. Alexa, change the color to yellow of light one. Okay. Alexa, turn light one to brightness of 50%. Okay. Alexa, turn light one to color white. Alexa, turn light one to brightness of 100%. Okay. Light one is not responding. So there it is, guys. As you can see, it's very, it works very nice with Alexa. It has some, um, some problems with it like alexa says that it's not responding or alexa will try to change it and then it appears on the on the cell phone that is not working but most of the time it works all the time so that is a review of the c by g and let me know if the alexa works for you or the automation works for you and you can leave me on the comments how do you make it work and i will appreciate that thank you so much remember to subscribe to my channel and you can also leave any comments that you wish give thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye